Yeah, I, I was just uh, talking to Casey a little bit and just the importance of for shooters of getting good passes. And like he says, that's been a point of emphasis. And from your point of view on the receiving end, like how important is it for you to get passes on time? It definitely helps, you know, because there's a obviously there's a rhythm to to shooting to you ask any shooter, you know. And that's going to be nice. You're going to be able to make some of the ones off bad catch and stuff like that. You'll get going. But, like, especially when you're trying to, you know, find that rhythm and first check in or if you haven't made the last couple to get you a clean look, having that ball hit your hands clean is definitely a big deal. The, uh, and, and, I mean, I guess the flip side is you probably do work on catching, shooting off 100%. bad catches. But. Yeah, you do, but you you, you rather <laughs> – it's much easier to catch them, you know, somewhere in the pocket. Some guys have larger shot pockets. Like, for me, as long as it's, you know, in this area, I'm fine. Like, there's some you got to go – because it will take away from your steps, which is the biggest thing, getting your legs under you. I think that's the biggest thing on the move. When the catches are bad, then it takes the rhythm away from your legs, which is the biggest part when you're running around 30 feet from the basket. And does, like, as a shooter, sometimes, like – because Case was saying there's been four or five games there. You guys were shooting as a team, you know, 10 of, I don't know, 8 of 35 or mm -hmm. whatever it was. And, like, it's not like you can come and say, man, the passes are bad. But mm -hmm. is that a contributing factor sometimes when, when – Sometimes, yeah. And then sometimes it's just, you know, like, when – the thing about the three, man, it comes and goes throughout the season. That's just – and that's for anybody. That's what the best shooters in our league, they'll go through stretches where it's just not there. It could be legs from playing a lot of games from a stretch or – just the rhythm, you know. Um, it's a, it's a long shot. It's a, it's a. We've made it so regular because of the amount we take that it, it looks easy for a lot of guys. But it's a, it takes a lot of practice, an art to it, and you know, it, it comes and goes a little bit. But yeah. to be a lead at it, you got to stick with it. CJ Miles, what do you think about uh, making them threes in a really hard moments? I think you should take more of them. You got the best percentage on the team. Thank you. That was a CJ Miles from <laughs> Toronto Raptors. Thank you. Thanks, Jonas. I appreciate you. Anyone can be a shooter. CJ, when you talk about being around this league a long time, and you know it's easy to get up to those good teams with the great records, but when you talk about trying to get up for teams that records aren't as impressive, where do you see this team and the kind of the mentality they have going into this kind of game? The, right now, the best, the thing, the best way to put it is us being the best we can be. It has nothing to do with anybody outside of our locker room right now. It's about us going out there and creating, continuing to create habits and working on habits that we have that are slipping or might not be as good all year that we've been trying to get better at. Um, every day is just about taking a step forward. We can't focus on who's playing, who's not playing, what their record is, how hard they play, whatever it may be. If we want to be who we say we want to be, then we got to go out there every single day with a focus on this game means just as much as the team that's second or third in the East or second or third in the West because these moments that we practice are the moments that are going to help us keep climbing that mountain to get where we want.